Okay, hello everybody. Today I show you how we build up our static spinning dance pole. Okay, all we need you can find here. What we have here is the base. This part we will use for the ground. This part is the upper dome. This part we will put upside. Then we have two extension poles. This one is D. It's a bit shorter than the extension pole D. This one here is the iron cover. We will use it later. And these two poles are pole B and A. There is a difference, as you can see. On the top of pole B, at the top, you can find an extended thread. Here we have a pin that will later be used to connect to the upper dome. And last but not least, you can find our tools that we need. We have two iron rods, a spanner and an allen key. According to your dream dance pole, we have to measure the height from down to up. Therefore you need the tape measure, it's very important because later on you have to decide whether you use the extension pole D or C. As you can see here, our real height from down to up is 2.6 meters. The first step is, we have to take our base that you can find here and we take our extension pole C, which is a bit longer than D, right? And put it on the base. You turn it clockwise to the point when it starts and when you don't have enough power in your hands, you simply use one of these iron rods and strengthen it. Okay, the next part is you take this cover here and also the allen key. Therefore, don't forget you first have to loosen the, these two screws. So. When we loosen the last screw of the iron cover, we have to take out our adapter. This is our adapter. And we need them later on, so we put them to the side first. But the iron cover, don't forget, these two holes must be up. Okay, so we put it down. Okay, the next step is we have to take our pole B. To make sure you have the right pole, therefore we first need pole B, okay? Pole B has an extended thread, so please put it in the extension pole B. Again to the point when you cannot turn it anymore. When you reach that point again, use your iron rod and tighten it. The next part we have to focus on is our pole A. There you can see we have the iron nut, okay? And here we have the black spin that we have to turn anti-clockwise. As you can see, it's spinning out and out. Here you can see the hole is clearly seen, okay? Take the iron nut and put it on the pin. Make sure that this part of the iron nut is on the upper side. And this one is the flat one. When you put it on, it must be very stable in the position. So don't forget about it. Then thing we have to do is we have to take the upper dome and put it on A. Okay? Therefore we need our leather.
hit the pin till it reaches the ceiling. Next step is make sure that your dance pole is in a good position. Therefore, pay attention that the position of the wheeling and the ceiling and the dance pole is in a 90 degree position. Here we have the iron mat that you have to turn and take its maximum level. Tighten it again with the iron mat. Stable. So we have also to use our iron cover that we used in part 2. Put it up to the point where both hole matches where you can put in both screws. Tighten both screws to the maximum. So the last step is we have to adjust our dance pole. Okay, as you can see here, it's stable. It's not spinning. If you want to make it spinning, you simply use the alley key and loosen the two black screws totally. And as you can see here now, your static spinning dance pole is ready. Okay, this video shows you how to dismantle your dance ball. Don't forget, as we finished, so we have to start again from up to down. So what we have to do first is to dismantle the iron cover. Therefore we need our ladder again. You have to loosen the both screws. Use your alley key. Screws are loosened, so carefully pull the iron cover down. Use your iron net again with your hands or your tools and turn the iron nut anti clockwise. Put the iron rod into the hole of the black pin and turn it clockwise. Take the upper dom away from pole A. Therefore be careful, it's heavy. Next step is this metal pole B. Take off the iron cover and put the adapter that we have taken out before back to its original position and use these two silver screws to tighten the adapter again. Dismantle extension for C from the base. This was the video for dismantle your dance ball. I hope you don't feel difficulties with it. Thank you for watching.